Hi, I'm Brian Utting from the Pacific Northwest School of Massage. I've been asked to explain a little bit of the theoretical rationale behind an upcoming class I'll be teaching on muscle-specific deep tissue techniques for the torso. The torso, of course, includes the back muscles, and that will be a primary focus in this class. When you talk about back muscles to a lot of our clients, and actually quite a few of our quite a few practitioners as well, the muscles they tend to think about are these larger external muscles such as the traps, the rhomboids, the lats, and so on. But these are actually primarily fast firing muscles that work on the extremities. They attach to the shoulders, the arms, and so on. Underneath those we have uh, the postural muscles, um, the erector spinae, um, and the transversal spinellus underneath them. The erector spinae are slow firing muscles and are designed for continual adjustments to posture, center of gravity, uh, smaller movements, and so forth. Um, in our culture these days, these muscles don't get to be taken through their full range of motion or full range of possibility, and as a consequence, they tense up, get glued to each other, and turn into a cable, unlike the sheet pictured here. Um, the problem with having a sheet turning into a cable is that you have less surface area for nutrition and expulsion of waste. You also have less mobility and range of motion as it gets progressively more bound up. One of the things we'll be doing in this class is unbinding the erector spinae and fluffing them up. It feels great and clients love it. Underneath the erector spinae we have the transversal spinellus muscles, which is actually, this image is a composite of several different muscle groups. Some straddle many vertebra, like the semispinellus. Some straddle three or four, or two or three or four, like the multifidus. And some uh, only go one segment, like the rotatores. These muscles are designed to create independent segment, segmental motion. Uh, what happens is when people are sitting all day long, both at work and at home, uh, these muscles tend to get glued together and we lose our segmental motion. They also get uh, choked up in their irritants um, and become chronically contracted so that even if our fast firing external muscles are well developed and beautiful, uh, these can be causing a lot of pain and discomfort from the inside. What we're going to focus on in the class is getting these muscles stretched, lengthened. We're going to squeeze out all those old irritants. We'll call it pain juice. And we're going to kind of comb the fibers, get them separated from each other and working properly. This feels wonderful. The challenge with uh, body work is that a lot of massage practitioners use instruments that are so blunt that they actually don't get down into the lamina where these muscles and their origins and insertions live. Um, or if they use their fingers and their thumbs, which have the sufficient precision, they don't uh, have enough pressure to get down into where these muscles live. So we're going to do some both finger and elbow techniques that will get down to the lamina and clean these tissues up. Uh, we go to the dentist to have our plaque removed, um, but ironically, very few people, even if they get regular massage, get the plaque of their paraspinal muscles removed. And that's what we're going to do in this class. Hope to see you there. Thank you very much.